Larry at Hagemeister Enterprises wanted to show you today something really important about 8 volt batteries. Now this pertains to like tractor batteries and things like that. I do want to mention that uh, the 8 volt battery concept came along some years ago. There was never any manufacturer of any kind that made an 8 volt piece of equipment. But people do use them in old tractors in the cold country and, and, and in cars. But what I want to show you today is how to charge them. We don't have enough information out there to charge an 8 volt battery. If somebody buys one, they really don't know how to charge it. So that's what I want to show you today. This is just an old school uh, 4 amp charger and it's on 12 volts. And we got the negative hooked to the negative. We've got the positive lead coming over to this resistor. We sell this on our website. And it's just enough current drop coming through here and hooking up here to the battery. Now you can see I've got it charging and it's a perfect setting of 9.1 volts. Word of caution on doing this, you just wanna have a low amp charger. Nothing 20, 50 amps, just a low four or five amp charger is absolutely perfect. But be cautious because this, this resistor that we use can get pretty hot. As you can see, I have this suspended here so it's not touching anything. But let me just measure the temperature of the back of this here. So see, it's like 200 degrees. So you want that somewhere where it can stay open air. And it's doing its job because our voltage setting is perfect. Having talked about charging an eight volt battery, this is something we do on a custom basis. This voltage regulator we build is uh, for an 8N Ford tractor. Customer had us do it. So it's six or eight volt positive ground A circuit. And basically what you do is just flip the switch. So if he wants to put an eight volt battery in his tractor, he can do that. This will charge eight volt or charge six. And again, we do this on a custom basis. They, uh, they send them to us and then we uh, convert them to electronic. So I wanna mention that when people put these eight volt batteries in equipment, tractors, uh, you really have to mechanically adjust the regulator that's in there and that is very difficult to do sometimes. That's why we've created a regulator that lets you pick six or eight volt. But when they put them in just a plain old tractor without adjusting anything, it's just asking for trouble. I'd just like to finish by saying that we're really not promoting eight volt batteries at all, but they're out there and people have used them for years. And this is just something that our customers do and we just try to help them and make sure it works out.